is the shape of the roof I went with. I think it's the easiest way to do it. Taking this glass, I'm going to put directly across from there. I wasn't going to put any windows in there, but the, due to the fact if I want to do a little bit of film, taking pictures and that, the glare shining through the glass would uh, create a problem. But I can always put something over the window if I'm doing it. Charlie suggested put a little table there for a stove, common stove. So we'll do something like that. Probably put a little awning over the front here for the door. And well guys, I just want to show you that and I'm going to show you the place where I'm going to set it up after I'm finished with it this winter and spring. I'm going to leave it in the woods so it will be a place to go next fall. I'll show you that now. Back again folks. Finally got some lumber. It's green lumber. So I gotta do I'm doing the board and batten so that when it dries out over the summer I can fill in the seams with I fill in the seams, I can do the seams over with another board, another strip. So I think it's lumber I got side. Get the back in done, back wall done. That's where the windows go. And one more piece on that end, be finished. I'll do this end, two sides. Then I'll do the door. I'm putting the barn stall door here door slide both ways and I'm putting lumber on the roof I'll just put a thin underlay on top of that for now then again then boards gonna dry out it's gonna tear apart anything that I put sand there so I'll do next fall before I put a, a good felt on that if I need it perhaps I don't even need it Come on guys, show you along the way. Getting her all closed in now. I got one piece to go here. Then I'm going to do the roof. I got the last ready to go in. When I get this done, I'm going to take her outside and work out of the doors. It's starting to get warmer now, so. Anyway, there's one more piece and then I'm going to start the roof.
Hey guys, I know this is going to, when this lumber dries out, this is going to shrink and tear apart from here. This one I'm just putting the teeth membrane on this for the air. On the other side now, this is the doors I got done. handles on that. That should work it just fine. I'll put another piece of felt on the other side. Make her dry for the night. Tomorrow I'll probably put that window in. You guys this fun little project. Anyway, I'll put the other piece of felt on that one. Put a couple handles on there. I got the last right there to go in there. Oh, uh, it's going to be neat. Talk to you later, guys. Folks, I got her finished. That felt on her. Put the window in. Oh, look for the snow. Our snow is starting to get rotten here. Like I said, I had to do this with a bat board and batten because there's green lumber. Half inch clapboard. When that dries out, that's going to come apart. I'll put another strip down each seam. The doors I just done with the barn door, they will come apart too. I'll do saw them together. Just been only here part of two days. I don't know if you can see the different colors in it. It's starting to bleach over. I'm going to keep it a natural color, I'm thinking. Call for rain tomorrow, so it should be dry inside. Guys, i got to tell you again, this wasn't my idea. i seen this on a YouTube channel called The Outsiders. But his father and son is building a beautiful cabin there, and he built one of these, and a few other buildings he built. So, I can fish inside. I think it's a bad day. Storm or cold. We sit here. Fish from the outside. Get one of my little hammocks up top there. I'll start adding things to it. Nice warm night now. No trouble to spend the night here. Well, guys, I hope you like it. I'll put this to the test in the next few days. I got this put on the bobs. The bob slaves that I use. I take that slat, that house off, and put my box on for hauling wood. Or I can put another set of bunks on for hauling logs. You've probably seen that before. Hello, guys. Hope you like it.